Hello fam, welcome to the African Diaspora News Channel. Belgium apologizes for kidnapping African children. Belgium apologizes for kidnapping, segregation, deportation, and forced adoption of thousands of children born to mixed race couples during its colonial rule of Burundi, Congo, and Rwanda. The apology is the first time that Belgium has recognized any responsibility for what historians say the immense harm the country inflicted on the Central African nations, which Belgium colonized for eight decades. Prime Minister Charles offered an apology in Parliament, which was attended by dozens of people of mixed race in the visitors' gallery. Quote, throughout Belgian colonial Africa, a system of targeted segregation of Métis, Métis is a name they gave to children that were born half African, half white, of Métis and their families was maintained by the Belgian state and acts were committed that violated the fundamental rights of people. Quote, this is why, in the name of the federal government, I recognize the targeted segregation of which Metis people were victims under Belgian colonial rule in Africa and the ensuing policy of forced kidnapping. In the name of federal government, Mr. Mikhail said, I present our apologies to the Metis stemming from the Belgian colonial era and to their families for the injustice and the suffering inflicted upon them. Some experts say this apology came late, uh, but the prime minister apologized on behalf of the government and said sorry for the mixed race that were taken away from their mothers so what happened was they had segregation after they colonized the african countries what they would do was give strict rules that says segregation must be obeyed white people hang here black people hang here there is no you know union marriage or having kids but even if that law was there white men didn't stop from marrying uh, Congolese women Rwandan women so that scared the government because they were having mixed children and their authority was based on white is here black is here so when they're mixing that means half white half black what does that mean you know so they were afraid and also they feared a repeat of the Red River Rebellion in Canada in 1869 and 1870 when Metis people revolted and overthrew the local government they feared because in Canada that happened the Métis which is half black half white the mixed kids overthrew a whole government in Canada so they were aware of that so they were afraid of that because they wanted to be seen as the superior the authority of the black people that they're reigning over and colonizing they would not allow this mixed kids to be seen so what they will do is kidnap them take them from their mothers and go with them to Belgium they will put them up for adoption or if nobody takes them in they will go to boarding school and live in those um, organizations so what the prime minister is apologizing for is the mixed kids that were kidnapped from their mothers uh, because of the fear of black people waking up or black people saying wait a minute you're actually not superior than us so that argument will fall flat and that stressed them out so much that they were kidnapping kids from their mothers I'm very moved because after all these years the prime minister recognized what we have been through it's a recognition of what the Belgian state and the church did to us. They took part of our identity away. Now they have admitted that mistake. I feel better now. These kids didn't even have a certificate, the birth certificate. They don't know who their parents are. They were taken away from their mothers and being brought up somewhere that probably they faced racism because they're not fully white and, and they probably grew up thinking they don't belong anywhere, which is really sad. But the Belgians did so much worse. That's not such a horrible thing. At least the kids had a life and um, their lives were not taken away from them. Because during the ruling of Leopold II, which was the leader of Belgium, about 15 million Africans died. 15 after he colonized the African countries like Congo, Rwanda, and Burundi. Do you know how many Jews Hitler killed? Six million Jews. And we hear about it everywhere. We hear about the Holocaust, we hear about the Jews dying, six million of them, and yet King Leopold killed 15 million Africans. That's this guy's legacy. From all the colonizers, he was the worst of them all. There's no better colonizer, don't get me wrong. All of them had no right to come and own anybody or colonize. But this guy was the most ruthless rulers of Belgium. He was a cruel human being. Leopold II, well, he ordered his men to enslave the Congolese people. Each of the governor generals had their own tactic to achieve this. Usually they set a village on fire so that there was nowhere for anyone to hide. They would shoot and capture women of the village and tell the men that if they did not bring back 15 kilograms of rubber by the end of the day, they would kill their wives and daughters. King Leopold II believed that all of these people were his personal slaves and he could do 
whatever he wanted with them. King Leopold personally handed out bonuses to the commanders if they could produce more rubber by any means necessary. The soldiers cutting off hands of people that were still alive whenever they wasted ammunition. They were actually proud of their brutality. They believed that the worse they treated the Congolese people, the harder they worked. So you see, that's why I'm saying they're apologizing for this. Great, it's a first step, but they have a whole lot more to apologize for to these African countries. Now that they have apologized, we're assuming the next step will be getting these kids certificate, birth certificate, uh, helping them reunite. Actually, the government of Belgium funding their reunion uh, with their parents, with their grandparents, because most of them are alive. And if they have any identity questions, um, the Belgium government need to offer answers and solutions. And if they need to go get the DNA test and the ancestry test, they should help them out with that uh, going forward. And I guess the first step was apology, which means they are accepting and admitting um, they did something wrong which obviously they did um, but it's coming from them is what i'm trying to say and now hopefully these kids will have answers and will reunite with family members and will have a sense of belongingness if they come back to africa and get to know where they came from and understand their roots as always guys we would love to hear your thoughts on this topic do let us know down below on the comment section i will see you on the next one bye